Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. What's up, travelers? How's it going? Welcome to another Writing Wednesday. And today we're going to do Brie Burton's Valentine's Day tag because it's Valentine's Day. Mwah! For this tag, Miss Barton only has one rule, and that is describe your work in progress in three sentences or fewer. <laughs> this is going to be hard, so I'm probably going to have to do a lot of editing about this. Okay. My current work in progress is tentatively titled Elementals, Spirits Ascending. Kira has the ability to reap souls. She uses her gift to help those who are at the end of their lives move on into the afterlife. But when a reaping goes wrong, she'll set out on an adventure to discover what it truly means to have this gift. Boom! I think I landed that one. <laughs> All right, let's get started with these questions, shall we? Number one. Which character does something epic for another character on Valentine's Day only to have it go epically wrong? And this first question is going to go off to Duncan. Duncan is tall, dark, and handsome, and he knows it. And whew, he's a beauty. He also happens to be a hopeless romantic, so when he wants to do something big for his girlfriend, he goes all out. But of course, I think his arrogance comes back to bite him in the ass a lot, so it's not going to work out the way he wanted it to. Number two, nine million people buy pets a gift for Valentine's Day. Which of your characters does this and what's the gift? You know, it's funny because my, uh, my dog Queenie and my late cat Simba, their birthday is actually Valentine's Day. Happy birthday, baby! I love you! Simba, I miss you! They were... My pets are always awesome. Now, my story takes place in the future, and I do mention this later on in the, the um, book, but there aren't really pets back on Earth. There's a reason for it. It's very small. It's very minimum. It's not... I don't make a big deal about it. It's just how the world plays out in my book. This will go to Kira. While there's no pets, she does have a sentient assistant called I, and she does love it as much as she would love if it was a pet. And what her gift is, is that she's allowing it to pull a prank on her friend Rupert, because those two just have, they, they clash. Cause they both love Kira, they both want to be in her line of sight, but you know what happens when two people are after one person. Number three. Which character is celebrating sad Singles Awareness Day? And how do they celebrate? That dubious title will belong to Ko. And he celebrates it by going about his day like he normally would because what is even Valentine's Day? Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a photo of him yet, just yet. I mean, I have a picture I drew way back when, but it's not completely how I envisioned him now. So, coming soon, coming soon. Question number four. In 1537, King Henry VIII declared February 14th the official holiday of St. Valentine's, the same king who beheaded two of his six wives. Which character decides to murder someone on February 14th? This is Rain, because, and she killed them because someone got in her way. That's just how it is. I don't even have a photo up because I haven't completely, I know what she looks like, but I haven't completely envisioned her. I want to draw her first before I send it out for a commission to get it to look pretty. Question number five. Which character writes and performs a sappy love song for their crush? I'm going to give this to Duncan, and that's what goes horribly wrong. He sits there, he creates this beautiful, cheesy, sappy love song. A love song that people would love to play at their wedding, but he tries to go too big and too hard and winds up falling off the stage and breaking his leg. Because that is something that would happen to him. Number six. Fill in the blanks. I saw Rupert. Hmm. <laughs> Give a box of chocolates to Kira, which made her wildly hyper. Yeah, sugar in the future is full on craziness. <laughs> just kidding. It's just the ones that Rupert gave Kira because reasons. Number seven. Every February, the Italian city of Verona receives approximately a thousand letters addressed to Juliet. Which character writes a love letter to someone that doesn't exist? Leith. She would write it not in the sense of because she wants to tell someone about her love life, but in the sense of this sounds adorable and I want to see. This sounds adorable and I just want to do it. Again, I drew Leith way back when, back when I used to recall her Lilith, and I don't have the correct vision of what I exactly want. So, till then, you'll just have to deal with this. 
Number eight. Mm -hmm. Which character breaks up with their significant other on Valentine's Day by text or an equally awful way if there's no text in your world? This would go to Kaysen. And as a doctor, he'd send it as an invoice. You just, and since my story takes place in the future, it'd be a hologram of him just going, yeah, we should break up. The funny thing about that is, is that he's not trying to be malice about it. It's just he doesn't know any better. Number nine. In Finland, Valentine's Day isn't romantic. It's called whatever it's called. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Or Friends Day. Which character celebrates Friends Day by playing a prank? I'm just going to give this all to the trio. They, <laughs> this is just something they do to each other. It's ribbing, it's teasing, it's lovable. Also mingled in with a little asshole, Larry, and no. Yeah. <laughs> That's my trio. And finally, number 10. One of your characters consumes too much chocolate and champagne and gets sick all over the love of their life. Which character is it? This is Duncan, because once again, he tries to go above and beyond and he just takes it too far. He always takes it too far. God damn it, Duncan, settle down. Woo! All right, we're all done. Thank you for watching. I have enjoyed this. Did you enjoy it? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to tag my CP Pat. You'll probably get to see it on his blog. And I'm going to also tag Haley Bascon. I hope I said that last name right. She's also another author tuber on here. I'm going to leave their links in the description box down below. All right. If you like what you see here, you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday on the weekends when I finally feel like doing it. I post new nerdy videos, usually gaming related, on this channel as well. If you don't want to wait till the weekend and you like seeing gaming videos or nerdy videos, I'm on Twitch as well. You can also follow me on Twitter. <laughs> All the links will be in the description box down below. Look at him and his little valentines because he's green and that's green and <laughs> he's so cute. Link! Links! Okay, later days.